The sudden and intense nature of a flood can be likened to a volcanic eruption with the force and power to drastically change the landscape and destroy everything in its path. Today's video is shocking flood in Russia. If you are truly amazed with flood, let me know your thoughts in comment part and not forget to press button of like and subscribe. The floodwaters destroyed homes, businesses, and infrastructure, leaving many people stranded and without access to basic necessities. The popular resort city on the Black Sea in Russia have declared a state of emergency after three days of severe weather including heavy rain, flash floods and landslides. In fact, Russia experienced many great floods, destroying many houses, roads and even people's lives. In July 2016, heavy rain led to flooding in the Krasnodar Kray region, causing widespread damage and leaving at least 160 people dead. Sixty-six millimeters of rain fell in just one hour. The Bzugu River broke its banks while several other rivers rose significantly. In the modern history of Sochi, there has never been an incident of this magnitude in this part of the resort. One of the most devastating floods to hit Sochi, Russia, occurred in September 2018. Heavy rainfall caused the Mzimta River to overflow its banks, resulting in massive flooding in the city and surrounding areas. The excessive rainfall in Africa is being driven by a phenomenon known as an Indian Ocean Depot. Unrelenting rain and flooding in South Sudan has forced hundreds of thousands of people out of their homes. Crops have been destroyed and grazing land for, for herding communities has been reduced. Half of South Sudan's 11 million people depend on food assistance. Heavy rains caused floods and landslides in Democratic Republic of Congo's capital Kinshasa on December 13th, damaging homes and roads. Mm. The 
Ethiopia has experienced more intense and frequent rainfall events in recent years, which has led to an increase in flash floods. One of the most recent flash floods to hit Ethiopia occurred in August 2021, affecting the Afar and Amhara region of the northern part of the country. The flash floods caused by heavy rainfall led to the displacement of over 400,000 people, destroyed thousands of homes, and damaged infrastructure such as roads and bridges. The floods also caused the loss of thousands of hectares of farmland, threatening the livelihood of communities that depend on agriculture. In 2018, flooding occurred in the Republic of Dagestan, affecting over 4,000 people and resulting in significant damage to infrastructure and homes. <laughs> On October 24, 2018, Anoma lost the record downpours with thunderstorms hit Topsi. During the day, 162 millimeters of precipitation fell in Topsi which led to the flooding of the city, as well as the nearest settlements, many trains were cancelled. Not only railroad trucks were flooded, but also roads. Water also entered houses in two villages, in total, 315 households with a population of 950 people were in the flood zone. As it turned out, the downpour caused the destruction of the road bridge in the village of Sipka. <laughs> Embankment 200 meters long were washed away at the Grecheski Twapse Stretch at the Tuapse station and the Grecheski Kivenskovskaya stretch. Water flooded the railway tracks and a mud flow was recorded at the Vodopadni station. The flood also led to problems in shipping cargo to the Tuapse Commotion seaports. Bulk oil, ferrous metal, coal, and grain prevail in the structure of port cargo. In June 2019, heavy rainfall caused severe flooding in the Irkutsk region of Siberia, resulting in at least 25th death and the displacement of over 37,000 people. In August 2015, heavy rains led to flooding in the Amur region of Russia, affecting over 5,000 people. In June 2016, flooding occurred. Forestation and land use change are other major contributors to flash floods in this area. Trees help to stabilize soil and reduce the risk of erosion in landslides. However, widespread deforestation and land use changes such as agriculture and urbanization have removed the natural barriers that would otherwise slow down water flows during rainfall events, leading to the increased runoff and flash floods. This is a flood in Laos in 2021. It caused hundreds of cattle to be swept away like this. In 
2018, India was hit by a series of devastating floods that affected several states across the country. The Kuma River broke its bank, causing floodwaters to gush into the surrounding area. Dozens of people have been killed after days of heavy rain and flooding on Japan's southern island of Kyushu. At a nursing home for the elderly, more than a dozen were feared dead after water inundated the ground floor. Bangladesh is a low-lying country with a phase river delta making it highly vulnerable to flooding. In 2020, Bangladesh experienced one of the worst flash floods in recent years, with over 5 million people affected and 138 deaths reported. Flash floods occur when heavy rainfall causes rivers and streams to overflow their banks and inundate surrounding areas. These floods can be sudden and devastating, with little warning for residents in affected areas. Cyclone Freddy made landfall in southeastern Madagascar on Tuesday, leaving at least four people dead and destruction in its path as winds of up to 112 miles per hour lashed the island nation. The August 2021 floods in Hainan Province, China, were a series of severe floods that occurred as a result of heavy rainfall from July 16 to July 22, 2021. The floods affected large parts of the province, including the capital city, Shengshu, which experienced record-breaking rainfall and severe flooding. The city received 617.1 mm of rain in just 24 hours on July 20th, which is more than the average annual rainfall for the city. This is an unusual high amount of rainfall for the region, and it overwhelmed the drainage systems and caused severe flooding. The floodwaters inundated roads, buildings, and public transport systems, trapping many people in their homes or workplaces. Thousands of vehicles sit abandoned in this car park in the provincial Shengshu. These cars were damaged during the deadly floods in July that killed more than 300 people. What do you think about this kind of natural disasters? Do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment here. Thanks for watching.